you cannot pay attention to Jesus and yield to him until you have loved him tell your neighbor you cannot pay attention to God you cannot yield to Jesus until your heart have loved him it is only when we love Jesus that we catch his attention so the depth of your love for God as a Christian is very important necessary imperative for God to look at you pay attention to your life it was the heart that David had for God that made God pay attention even when David was in the wilderness the Bible said he said to Saul he said to Samuel the prophet stop praying for Saul because I have found me a man that is after my very heart what is it that God saw in David that made him different from Saul deep love how deep is your love as a Christian for God? God does not bless where his reputation is not safe. He wants to see love. When he has seen love in your heart, he can trust you with blessing tell your neighbor when God when Jesus has seen love in your heart he can trust you with blessing let's be seated what does God want to see first a bowel of relationship any relationship that is not rooted in love cannot produce anything tangible if you have any relationship with any person any organization before you love that place or that person the relationship will not be healthy one is using the other so many people they are coming to church is a response to the pain that they have felt it is not love that pushes you to church it is the pain of the affliction of satan which is wrong that's why blessings breakthrough that Christians are talking about they do not what manifest because mankind do not serve God with what by choice they serve God because they are under pressure it should not be pressure that makes you to go to church that makes you to go on fasting to seek the face of God to read the Bible it must be what the motivation of love yeah. most of you here you only fast when you are in trouble when there is problem in marriage when there is problem in your career when you are sick doctor give you a note and tell you there is cancer in your blood system you have HIV that's when you go on fasting you go looking for a church everyone under the sun goes looking for God when they feel pain but God honors the one who seek him because of the motivation of love ask your neighbor why are you here this topic and concept of love relationship is what separate Christians from thieves many are churches in our country around the world that are overflowing with Christians but the question is what manner of Christian is this yeah? what man of Christian are you are you going to Jesus because you are about to be fired at work because the business is dwindling or the marriage is about to explode 
or you have gone to Jesha because you cannot live without him. Oh my gosh. Christianity cannot be made manifest until it has been founded on love. Christianity becomes a fiction until Christianity has been what? Has been resuscitated by the spirit of God called love. Why have you gone now looking for God? When David sought God in the wilderness, it was not as a result of a desire to become a king or become a governor of the people, become a great man, or to go down in history in a mighty way. But his motivation was that he loved the Lord. How great is your love for God? As a Christian, this phenomenon of love will determine if you as a Christian will receive from God or you will not tell your neighbor this phenomena of love will be a determinant whether you as a Christian will receive from God or you will not hence we have Christians that are born again today tomorrow they have fallen away because these people were never in love with God that's why you'll have people who will become ushers some they will carry big roles in churches tomorrow they are in the contrary kingdom because this salvation that they claim to have was non-existent it was what? hunger everyone can be humble when there is hunger prevailing everyone becomes what gentle when there is what pain if you want to see who is your neighbor wait until they are blessed yeah? if you truly want to know that the poor man is your friend wait until they have acquired riches then you will know the nature of the heart God does not entrust his blessings in the hand of mankind until he has seen this phenomena called love Christians all over the world they are complaining they are pushing fasting for this what divine fruit called blessing and breakthrough and they do not find any do you want God to bless you you need to work on what on love you can fast for a thousand years you can read the bible ten thousand times a year you can speak in tongues for centuries if god have not seen what a heart of love in you as a christian he cannot trust you why do you serve God? Ask your neighbor. Why do you serve God? If it's not because of love, we will not receive from God. If you have truly loved God with all of your heart, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength, you will match the Bible without question this generation that we are living on is a generation of men and women that are very eloquent accurate in speech and charismatic in the articulation 
but they never match their words with their action this generation is sick because men of my generation they are what they are good in confession but not in execution we become men of our words men who match our confession when we have loved God we read the Bible to have knowledge about God and what we have said but we never match what we have said hence Christianity in our generation is powerless the prayer of Christians of the generation they are like empty clouds they carry no rain we are good in articulation but we do not watch execute let's go to the bible book of Matthew 21 verse 28 if you found it it reads as follows what do you think there was a man who had two sons he went to the first and said son go and work today in the vineyard i will not he, he answered but later he changed his mind and went then the father went to the other son and said the same thing he answered i will say but he did not go oh my god we fail to match our words our articulation with our actions the bible does not come to life until mankind they execute what they have read and what god have ordered the bible say almighty god rejected saul the king because saul was a man who was great in what in articulation but his actions were contradicting what he have said the lord gave him a mandate to go and attack and destroy a certain nation and leave nothing alive but Saul so, agreed but he did the opposite if we continue as Christians as mankind as believers in the path of confession agreeing with the letter mentally but we fail to execute Christianity will continue to be a movement an organization that is without power today salvation has become a myth a fiction in the midst of the people of the world because the sons of the kingdom they have assented to what God wants but they have failed to execute hence our prayers cannot reach God cannot produce results because we are not armed every time when a Christian fail to match what he has spoken what he has confessed he is becoming disconnected from the supreme power of heaven Christianity is when we walk in God and we allow God to walk in us have you allowed God to walk in you ask your neighbor have you allowed Jesus to walk in you if Jesus have walked in you his word would be practical on your day to day life we talk about Christianity we claim to practice it when it is convenient for us but in the true nature of things 
we are not Christians. We become Christians when it is only convenient. This is not real, it's a pretense. How do you know that you're a Christian? When God walks through you and you walk on God, what do people say when they meet you the first time? Who do they see? Who come to their mind when they see you? Is it God? Or they simply see a descendant of so and so? Ask your neighbor. What do people say when they look at you? Jesus asked them a question. Who do they say I am? Who does people think that you are? You are not a Christian until the word of God has become practical has become what a way of life you are not a christian a child of god until that which you confess and that which you do work together they become a unit fuse we are not christian we confess it we speak about it we can explain it we even know all the rituals of Christianity but the question is does Christianity live in us 